Good morning, BFIT Nation. Thank you for joining us today for another live Monday BFIT workout. We would like to dedicate today's workout to highlight Women's International Day. The theme for 2021 is choose to challenge. What that means to me is we should challenge ourselves to break free from the box someone might have put us in previously. Be unapologetically ourselves. In 2021, we can be whoever we wanna be. I'm honored to have this platform to honor women. And I'd like to say to all women around the world, thank you. Thank you for being you. Now, let's challenge ourselves to give 100% during today's workout. To you, Roy. Thank you so much, Senior Master Sergeant Barry. Welcome, BFIT Nation, and welcome to another BFIT Live. We are so honored and so happy that you are with us today during our International Women's, Women's Health Day. Just like Senior Master Sergeant Barry said, challenge to change. So we are challenging ourselves week after week, working on changing and developing strong habits to progress and move forward throughout our lives, throughout our day-to-day -day activities. So with that, welcome to BFIT Live. Please go ahead and grab a towel, grab your water. I hope you are dressed in comfortable clothes because today we have a cardio-based and resistance-based workout for you, guaranteed to get your heart rate up and elevated, as well as leaving the workout stronger than when you started. All right. So if you're new to BFIT Live, our programming and our timing for these workouts are 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, and we have four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. Again, once again, that's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round to go ahead and collect yourself, towel off, stay hydrated during each of these rounds, and we have four rounds to complete for today. This will leave us at just under 30 minutes of work guaranteed again guaranteed to work on our cardio based movements and resistance based movements for today all right i'll go ahead and demo each of these movements so that way there are no surprises whenever we tackle each of these movements we'll go into some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies prepared ready to work and then we will jump into our workouts so welcome <laughs> leave us a note in the comments let us know where you're watching from let us know where you are joining us from we love to see all the comments here um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop us a note in the comments below. But like Senior Master Sergeant Barry said, happy International Women's Day and challenge to change. Let's challenge to change. And with that, we welcome your max effort for today. So with that, I'll go ahead and demo the four movements for today. And then we will get into some dynamic stretching. Okay. So exercise number one, go ahead and listen to a few different cues as I walk through these movements. And... Think about, uh, I'll mention some regressions, some scaled back versions. So if you see that these movements may be too challenging for you, again, keep it comfortable for yourself. Okay, challenge yourself, but keep it comfortable to your fitness level, wherever you may be. And if you want to scale up uh, even above Sergeant Barry and I, then feel free and do so with uh, dumbbells. We have a few dumbbell movements for today. If you do not have any dumbbells, Go ahead and grab anything with the water, gallons of water, things like that, water bottles, 20 ounces. And in, if you do not have that, we wanna go ahead and make some strong fists here for some of these movements. But most importantly, it's all about control. It's all about a little bit of effort. And it's all about uh, really just dialing in to your comfort and your fitness level, okay? So exercise number one, we have 20 seconds worth of a dumbbell alternating reverse lunge, and then 20 seconds worth of a plyo lunge, okay? So we're gonna work on a little bit of strength movements with that alternating reverse lunge, and then 20 seconds worth of a plyo lunge to get that heart rate elevated. So we wanna stand shoulder, with, shoulder width apart here, uh, feet or shoulder width apart. Always keep that soft bend on your knees, never lock out those knees, right? Absorb that weight on your knees, so soft bend at those knees, pushing that leg, rear leg back, dropping that knee and hips down first, You'll see that 90 degree bend at that front knee. That's going to be your alternating reverse lunge, making sure to keep that chest up. That head is going to be looking straight ahead. If we have dumbbells, you're going to hold them left and right, palms facing you for 20 seconds worth of alternating reverse lunge, right? After that, we're going to drop the weight. We're going to go into 20 seconds worth of plyo lunges, okay? Plyo lunges here. Same great form as those reverse lunges. We're just eliminating the weight and we're using a little bit of explosiveness to go from left to right. Using your hands for momentum here to travel up, explode up, and then switch from left leg 
to right leg. If we need to scale back a little bit on these movements, go ahead and just take your time here. No matter where the depth that you were sitting in, it's okay. And then if we need to hold on to anything, go ahead and hold on to a chair. Go ahead and grab that chair that's next to you and work on those reverse lunges as well, either left side, right side, or both. And then just keep this moving here. That's gonna be exercise number one. Exercise number two, we are on the floor here. We have two combo movements here. We have two hip thrusts and two push-ups. okay? So this is a quick transition between the two. We are on the back with our hip thrust for one, for two, uh, two reps, and then we have two push-ups. So we are on the back here on the floor, right? Feet are gonna be on the floor here, 90 degree bend at our legs here from our knees to our hips. Hands are gonna be placed on the floor, head and back, mid to upper back on the floor. We want to push those glutes, those hips up. You'll feel that activation in your glutes and in your hamstrings. Once you're done with two reps of those hip thrusts, you want to quickly turn around and then we would go into two push-ups. All right, so we are working on our posterior chain here with those hip thrusts, two hip thrusts. And then we will quickly transition into those two push-ups, okay? So a lot of different movements here going on, but take these movements nice and controlled to your comfort level once again. And if we need to scale down on those push-ups, let's go ahead and drop to our knees here and then keep that same great form with those hands next to our shoulders at chest level while we extend down and then extend right back up. That's exercise number two. Number three, since we are on the floor here, we can kneel or we can stand with dumbbells. If not dumbbells, make that nice strong fist. We are going to do a curl to press. So activating those biceps with that curl, right? Once we get done with that curl, we're gonna move over, rotate up into an overhead press. Reverse that movement back down. Once again, curl, extending out into that overhead press and then control that movement back down to starting position. So curl to overhead press for exercise number three. And exercise number four, we have a combo set here. We have four shoulder taps and four toe touches in a high plank position. So with that high plank position, we always want to put our hands underneath our shoulders for the most ability on your elbow and on your shoulder. So tuck into that high plank position, relatively straight line from your neck all the way down to your heels here. Keep that core nice and tight. Left hand meets left, I'm sorry, right hand meets left shoulder. Control those hips. Left hand meets right shoulder for, for four shoulder taps. Once we get done with that, we're going to extend all the way to the back here. Right hand meets left foot. Left hand meets right foot for four toe taps. And then we are right back in to four shoulder taps. So four shoulder taps and then four toe taps. Make sure to keep those hips square to the floor and make sure not to rock or sway. Try not to rock or sway those hips as we move through. And a little note here, the wider your foot placement is, the wider your foot stance is, the more stability you will have. The less on your foot placement here, if they're closer together, the less stability you'll have. So that'll be more, um, that'll be a little tougher for you to uh, have that stability, have that control. So think about your foot placement as well as your breathing and control. So those are gonna be the four movements for today. A dumbbell alternating reverse lunge and a plyo lunge for number one. Number two, two hip thrusts and two push-ups. Number three, a standing or kneeling curl to press. And number four, four shoulder taps and four toe touches. That's gonna to round out today's BFIT Live. I know, I know, we are excited here. <laughs> we will jump into some dynamic stretching right now. Grab some water, hydrate. Let's get our space opened up if we need to. I hope it's ready to go. And we'll move into some dynamic stretching as I drink a drink of this water. Stay hydrated, please. Mm. All right, team. Let's challenge ourselves here, change to challenge here. All right, dynamic stretch is coming up. Let's go ahead and move into our dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg extended back. We're gonna take that left hand and reach up and overhead, feeling that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors, in your hips, and in your back with that arm reaching up and overhead. Go ahead and alternate here. Let's go at our own pace. Nice deep breaths in. For some of us, this might be our first workout of the morning or the day. 
<laughs> so now is a great time to kind of analyze and scan your body. Think about where you might be tight. If you were sitting for a long period of time, your hips may be a little tighter. Go ahead and take the time to loosen those up. Each of these movements for about 30 seconds here. Let's go into a reverse lunge with the reach. All right, with some of the reverse lunges that we were about to do. Let's take that right leg, extend it as far back as you can comfortably here. Drop that knee down to that reverse lunge. Take those hands, put them together and reach over to that front leg side. So I'm over to my left here, extending back up, standing at top, nice and tall. Left leg goes back and reaching over to the right here. Take your time with these movements, nice and controlled. If that reverse lunge isn't as wide, that's okay. Back up top, taking our time here. Extending back out and overhead. Good. Last one here. All right, lateral fixed feet lunge here. We're gonna take that nice wide stance here. Feet are gonna be fixed forward. All right, keeping those toes pointed forward. We're gonna shift our weight from our left and our right. Keeping that chest up, that head is up. Feeling that stretch within our inner thigh. All right, trying to get that blood flow moving towards our legs here. Trying to get our legs warmed up and ready to work. Taking a little bit of time for ourselves this morning or this afternoon. Again, let us know where you're watching from. <laughs> All right, let's drop down. Since we do have some core work here, high plank positions, let's walk down into an inchworm. We're gonna take, our, our, <laughs> take back to our space here. All right, we want our feet shoulder width apart, dropping down towards our toes, extending out to that high plank position, keeping that core tight and engaged. Pause for one second in that high plank position. And then you're gonna retract back towards those toes. Bring up to standing position, feel that spine straighten back out and then roll right back down. Touch your toes heel, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings. Back into that high plank position, pause for a second, keeping that core tight. Hips are square to the floor, extending back up. Two more of these here. Down for this third one. Into that high plank position, core tight, pausing for a second. Think about those deep breaths here. Three, one more here. Good team, good, good, good. Last one here, high plank, pause, retract back. Working on our flexibility here, really stretching out those hamstrings. Good, all right team. Let's go into some hip circles here. Open up those hips just a little bit more, right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back, left leg forward. So help out with some of those plyo movements that we have coming up as well as those quick transitions with those hip thrusts to push up. Right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back, left leg forward. Trying to keep that chest forward here. Good, at your pace here. All right, and last and final one team, we have hinge reaches, okay? So we're gonna take our feet shoulder width apart here. We're gonna extend our arms out to the top of our head overhead here, and we are going to hinge at our hips here, reaching about that 45 degree mark, keeping that core tight, and then extend right back up to standing position. So keeping those arms nice and straight, hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back, and forward, warming up that lower back here. A little bit of that stretch on those hamstrings, on those glutes. Nice and controlled here, just a little bit of a bend. Warming up that lower back. Those shoulders should feel some blood flow going to your arms here. Last three, two, last one. All right, team. How are we feeling? Are we warmed up? We're ready to go, ready to rock? All right. Good, good, good. Again, grab that towel, grab that water, towel off, hydrate here. That's the name of the game here. Give us a little bit of your effort here. I'm gonna start my timer and then we will go into those alternating reverse lunge for 20 seconds and then 20 seconds of plyo lunges. So if you have any resistance, let's go ahead and grab that. 
Remember team, the first round, we are gonna learn the movements. So go at your own pace. And then that second round, we'll scale up once we know the movements, once we're familiar with them, once we have that control, then we will scale up as needed. All right, team. All sudden reverse lunge in 10. I'm grabbing that weight of choice here. We are up in five, three, two, one. Here we go, team. 20 seconds worth of that alternating reverse lunge. You're gonna step back. That rear knee is hovering over the floor, driving up through that front heel. Nice and controlled here. Last five seconds, you're gonna drop the weight. Two, one. All right, team, drop that weight and we have plyo lunges. Keeping that chest up, explode up, get a little bit of air here. If we wanna just go into those reverse lunges without the jump, let's go ahead and do it, team. Last seven, six, four, three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Again, 20 seconds of rest, and we have two hip thrusts and two push ups coming up. Let's get on the floor here. 10 seconds left. Remember to drive those hips up off the back here. And three, two, one, two hip thrusts, two push ups coming up. Control this movement, squeezing at the top, squeezing those glutes at the top. Once you get done with those two hip thrusts, we have two push ups. Take your time with these movements. Back on the floor here, two push-ups. Again, we were looking to engage those glutes, engage those hamstrings with those push, those hip thrusts. Give you a bonus one. <laughs> 15 seconds of work left, two hip thrusts. And then we have two push-ups, keeping those push-ups push -ups nice and strong. One, two. And time. <laughs> Good job, team. Take that 20 seconds. Focus on that breathing. We are up in 10. <sighs> Curl to press. Curl to overhead press. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Dumbbells in hand. Dumbbell facing us. Rotate out. Overhead press. Control this movement. No rush here. We're working for 40 seconds. We're gonna attack those biceps, growing a little bit of strength here with a bicep to overhead press. Palms are facing you as they come up to the top. Palms are facing out with that overhead press. Last 10 seconds. Out in five, out in three, two, one, and time. Good stuff, team, good stuff, good work. Four shoulder taps and four toe taps, really engaging this core here, attacking this core. All right, coming up with this last set for the round. High plank position here, we are up in three, two, one. All right, team, four shoulder taps. Let's go at our own pace here. After we get done with those four shoulder taps, we're gonna reach back, alternating hand to alternating foot, four toe touches, and then four shoulder taps again, and four toe touches. <sighs> nice deep breaths here. <sighs> Think about keeping that core tight, sucking that navel in. <sighs> Seven seconds left here. Out in three, two, one, and time. How do we do team? How do we do with those high planks? <laughs> good work. Absolutely good work team, good work. Again, if we need to scale down on those high planks, let's think about dropping to those knees, right? Dropping to those knees with that high plank position or actually a low plank here. All right, so we're a modified plank off of those knees. All right, four shoulder taps, then go ahead and raise up and then try to extend it. So if you can, if we are not there, let's just stick with those four shoulder taps here, okay? 22 seconds worth of rest here coming up. What we have left on our clock here, and then we will jump into round two of this same four movements here. So how did this last round feel? 
now that we know the movements, let's try and pick up the tempo just a little bit more. We have also in reverse lunge and plyo lunge coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Reverse lunge here, keeping that chest up. Alternating with that reverse lunge. Driving up with a purpose here. Think about that muscle group that we're working in five seconds. We are going to switch to those plyo lunges. Here we go, team. Switch, drop the weight. And we are up, moving with a little bit more of a higher tempo here. I like to use my hands and my arms here for momentum. In two arm, you can single arm. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. I know, I know, those are getting our heart rate elevated. Two hip thrusts and two push ups coming up in 10 seconds. We are down on the floor here. Here we go, team. Three, two, one. Two hip thrusts here. Think about engaging those glutes and those hamstrings with those two hip thrusts. We will turn right back over. Modified version here off of the knee. Take your time here with that quick transition. It forces us to get a little bit more cardio working. Two push ups here. Last 13 seconds, engaging those glutes here at the top, hamstrings are working. Nice quick transition to your pace. Out in three, two, one, and time. Finishing that one off for good measure. 20 seconds of rest here. And we're moving into standing or kneeling. Shoulder, I'm sorry, curl to press here. <laughs> All right, let me take this kneeling. Here we go, team, in two, one, curl to press, 40 seconds on the clock, let's work. How are we doing, team? There we go, Sergeant Barry, you're looking good. Nice and strong here. There we go, focus on our breathing. 15 seconds left here. Let's go at our own pace. Whew. Feeling that curl to overhead press. And time, good work team. 20 seconds of rest here. And then we will go into that four shoulder taps to four toe touches. 10 seconds, grab that water, stay hydrated. Make yourself some room here. We are up in five for four shoulder taps and four toe touches coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. High plank position here. Left hand, right shoulder, right hand, left shoulder. Reaching back for those toes. High pike here, keeping that core tight and engaged. Think about bringing that navel back to the spine. Try to keep that back flat, those hips squared to the floor, out in 10, four shoulder taps, keeping those hands directly underneath our shoulders here, out in three, two, finish it out, and time. <laughs> awesome job, awesome work, we are halfway there, round two, complete. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good work. Good work. Let's catch that breath. Let's work. Think about our breathing. Think about our controlled breathing here. Grab that water. Absolutely. Hydrate, towel off. We have two more rounds just like this. How are we doing, BFIT Nation? How do we feel? 20 more seconds here. Catch that breath. This is a great time to think about how we're feeling internally. This is a great stress reliever for some. Let's stay with it. Let's keep that heart rate elevated. Eight more seconds of rest here. And we're jumping into that alternating reverse lunge with a plyo lunge. Coming out team in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Reverse lunge, alternating, keeping that chest up. Good. 
Nice controlled movement here. Dropping that knee down to your comfort level. Five more seconds here and we're jumping into those plyo lunges, jumping. All right, team, 20 seconds left. Go ahead and get rid of that resistance. Into those plyo lunges. Good, last 10 seconds. Good, remember if we need to scale back, take that jump out of it, eliminate that jump and time. <laughs> 20 seconds of rest, catch that breath. Good work team, you're doing good, doing good. Stay with us here. Curl to press coming up next. We are up in five seconds. My dumbbell ran away from me. Here we go, two, one, and time. Curl, overhead press here. You can kneel or stand. Kneeling version can simulate as if you're in a chair. Right? If we were sitting, it's going to be a great alternative. 18 more seconds here. Really think about extending those arms all the way down with that bicep curl. Biceps, meet your ears in that overhead press. Out in three, two, last rep, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Team, you've earned it. <sighs> two hip thrusts, two push ups. I'm sorry, four shoulder taps. Coming up. <laughs> four shoulder taps here and four toe touches. <laughs> All right, team. We may have modified this round just a little bit, but just to keep you on your toes and myself. <laughs> I got excited, team. I like those buys and shoulder combinations. Last five seconds here of your core work. And we are saving the best for last this round. <laughs> Time, 20 seconds of rest here. And we are gonna jump back to those two hip thrusts and two push-ups because we cannot leave them out, all right? Engaging those glutes, engaging those hamstrings and activating that chest with the two push-ups here. Coming up, two hip thrusts and two push-ups in three, two, one. All right, team, let's work. Two hip thrusts coming up, really engage those glutes, squeezing at the top. Take your time with that. If we wanna work out 40 seconds worth of hip thrust, by all means, team, let's do it. 40 seconds worth of hip thrust. From that knee all the way down to your neck, relatively straight line. When you jump into those, extend up into that 45 degree angle with those hip thrusts. Nice two hip thrusts. Turn back over, last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one. <laughs> and time. Good work team. The great thing about these movements, they can be placed anywhere and still challenge you. <laughs> Grabbing some water here with our one minute rest. And then we are coming up on our final round, our final round here. <laughs> Sergeant Barry, how are we doing, ma'am? I see, I see our best friend over there, our third yes. member. Last round, best round, huh? That's absolutely right. Last round, best round, change to challenge. International Women's Day is today. We are gonna push ourselves. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. We are going to push ourselves for this last round, okay? In five seconds here, we are gonna start with that reverse lunge. Two, one, grabbing that weight, extending back. 20 seconds worth of that alternating reverse lunge. Keep it up, team. Keep it up. Keep that chest up. Keep that head looking straight ahead. Out in five. We're going to switch to plyo lunges. In two, one, drop that weight, team. Let's go ahead and power it out here. Nice controlled plyo lunge. 
out in 10 seconds. You won't see these again today. Keep pushing. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. Take that 20 seconds of rest. Two hip thrusts and two push-ups. I know, I know we are back dialing it in with us posterior work here. Two hip thrusts and two push-ups coming up in five. We are on track this round. Last round, best round coming up in three, two, one, two hip thrusts and two push-ups team. Again, if you want to dial in those hip thrusts for all 40 seconds, let's do it. If you want to dial in those push-ups for all 40 seconds worth, let's do that as well. 23 seconds left here. Try to think about that quick transition here. Think about dialing in in that hip thrust. Good, 15 seconds left. Out in 10. Think about how we get up off the floor on a normal occasion. That's what we are simulating. Out in three, two, one. Finish it out team and done. Good job, good job. All right, attacking those biceps, activating those biceps and shoulder press coming up in eight seconds. Last round, best round coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Bicep curl, nice strong stance, overhead press, control that movement back down. If we need to take that staggered stance here, front, front leg forward and have a kickstand to support that lower back, by all means, and momentum on that sway. Let's do it. Minimizing the sway here. Speaking of. Out in 10 seconds, team. Good work. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Last round of those, you won't see those again. Last and final exercise for today, four shoulder taps and four toe touches here. Coming up in five seconds here in that high plank position. Three, two, one, catch that breath. Here we go, team. Four shoulder taps, three, four, and four toe touches. Breaking up a little bit of that high plank position. Going into a pike, three, four. Again, go at your own pace here. Drop down to our knees, scale down if we need to. Add in 13. Think about keeping that core engaged at all times. Think about breathing in that last five seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> I've been told I count a little slow, so we may have got an extra one in team, but good work today. Good work. Time to hydrate team, make sure and hydrate after all of our BFIT lives. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. All right, team. Good work, good work, BFIT Nation. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Where do we work out from? Were we indoors today? Were we outdoors? Let us know. Let us know where you accomplished this BFIT live at as we catch our breaths here. I know, I know. That was a challenging one today. Again, it was a hybrid of both cardio and resistance-based movements. So this was, I designed to get that heart rate elevated just enough, but then bring it up back down just a little bit for those bicep curls and shoulder presses. Sergeant Barry, ma'am, how are we doing over there? How are we doing on your end? Awesome, thanks again for an awesome workout. I appreciate you, Roy, and I love being a part of BeFit Nation. And um, again, it's just an honor to be able to use this platform to empower women and send that message across. So thank you for, for allowing me that. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And thank you so much to all the women out here, all of our viewers who have continued to watch and support. We are here for you, um, not only just today for our Women's Day, but also every day, uh, you know, with these VFIT Lives, they are designed to keep us moving, keep us activated and keep us uh, striving to gain 1% better each and every week, each and every day. 
So whether you have a goal in mind or whether we can help you to reach that goal, that's what we are here for, okay? Week by week, let's continue to build, let's continue to push. And like I like to say, every day is a workout. So whether or not you know it, some of these movements that we have designed here on our BFIT Lives can be applied outside of our program here from uh, getting up off of the uh, chair or from our couch, moving around, things like that and of that nature. All these movements can be applied to everyday movements here. So uh, think about it that way. We're here to help you grow and uh, support you again from the exchange and our BFIT program here. Uh, we offer a lot of things in store. Go ahead and visit us in store and online at shopmyexchange.com. Again, thank you so much, Senior Master Sergeant Barry. Thank you so much. Once again, I appreciate everything that you've done for our BFIT program and for all of your support and to everyone else out here. Thank you so much for joining us this BFIT Live. Again, stay ready, stay resilient, and let's stay fit together, guys. Roy Montes, signing off.